This is part one of a two-part series in creating a CRUD interface in Ember. What is CRUD? It stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. So you can add new entries. You can retrieve, search, or view existing entries. You can edit existing entries, or you can delete or deactivate an existing entry. These four operations are so important that according to the Wikipedia page, it says that without at least these four operations, the software cannot be considered complete. So for any sort of software where you are going to be interacting with a database, you'll need these four operations somewhere. In this series, we're going to be showing a common way to create a CRUD interface using Ember and Ember data. So first, in Ember data, we have to have a model for the resource that we want to do the CRUD operations on. Then, in our router, we're going to put in nested resources. So the new route will be helping us create. The posts and the show route will be helping us read. The edit route will be helping us update. And then there will be a destroy action that will help us delete. We'll start with the read functionality, first with the index in the posts route, and then showing the individual record in the show route. So we'll create the posts, plural, route, and in that route, we'll make the model function, which will return all of the posts. Then in the post template, we'll loop through each of the posts in the model and display the title. That shows up like this. Now we'll want to be able to click one of these and see more information about it over here. To do that, we'll need to add a link and then an outlet, and then create the show route. In the post template, we'll use bootstrap grids to create a column on the left that is a quarter of the page that contains our list, and then a column on the right that is three quarters of the page that contains our outlet. Our outlet can display any of the routes nested below posts. So it can display new, or it can display a post and any one of the routes below that. If we don't specify one, then it will show index. So let's go ahead and make the index template right now. In the posts index folder, our file called template.hbs, we'll just have a header. And then you can see that is indeed what's displayed when there's no other route specified. Now let's add the link to for each of the list items for each of the posts. It's going to link to post.show. So let's go ahead and create the template for that. To start with, let's just have a header and then the title of the post so we can see that our things are working. Then when we click some of these links, we can see that it's going to the posts slash post slash show route and showing our title. I'm going to go ahead and paste in some slightly more complete code. And we can see that this is a respectable read page. So we have read under control. Now let's try to destroy one of these entries. To do that, we'll need a button that you can press to delete the entry. And then we'll need to make a controller for the show route where we respond to that action. First, we're going to get the model. The model has been grabbed for us from the server by the generated show route. If you don't include a show route, then it'll automatically create one for you and get you the correct model. So we'll get that model and then we'll call destroy record on it. This will send an Ajax call that will destroy the record on the server. It will also destroy the record in the Ember data store. So we don't want to be sticking around here very long. So it returns a promise. We'll call dot then. 
and then we'll include the function. And this is an ES6 function, so this has been kept. So since the scope of this is still the controller, we can call this dot transition to route and then go to posts. We can test this out in our browser and we hit the delete button and there's no longer the post about metaprogramming with define property. Let's search for define property and it is nowhere to be found. It is good and deleted and that holds even if we reload the page because it's been deleted on the server. That is all just with destroy record. That's some crazy power with Ember data. So we've gotten the read and the destroy. Now we need to do the update function. Let's go into our post show template and put in a link that goes to the post edit route. We'll be feeding it the model and giving it a tag name of button. So this is what it looks like. If we hit that button, it'll take us to the edit route and there's nothing there. Let's fill in that template. The file is at post edit template.hbs and then we'll put in various inputs and then we'll go ahead and put in a button that has the action save. For that to work we'll need a controller. This controller will have a save action and in that action we get the model and then we call save on it. And then we use promises and our ES6 function syntax and we can transition to the route of post.show. Let's test this out in the browser. Let's change one of the variables and then save. And it appears to have saved. Let's go ahead and reload and it's still there with us. So we have successfully updated the record. In this episode, we've created read, update, and destroy functionality for our resource. However, we still haven't done the create functionality. Creating is a little bit trickier because you have something like the ghost of a record right when you hit the new button, but before you save it. You don't want that record to show up in your list and you definitely don't want it saving to your server. So in this week's pro episode, we'll create some workarounds to make that work. We'll also take steps to ensure that we're not repeating work between the edit and the new templates. You may have noticed a lot of similarities between the tags and the posts in terms of their CRUD functionality. So next week, I'll show you how to create blueprints. Those are those things that run when you type Ember G. So we'll create our own custom blueprint that will create all the apparatus for a CRUD interface. Look forward to seeing you then.